The secret place is patient. The secret place is your development. It's lessons you learn while you're here. I can't pretend it don't hurt. When the time comes, God will rise. Hold on to your faith. You are now watching Kingdom Work TV. What's going on, everybody? This is Kingdom Work TV. My name is Antonio, but everybody calls me Bear. I'm back with another video. And the title of this message that I'm telling you about my process is being patient. So the last video, I was talking about the oil press. And this process right here is about being patient. Y'all, I don't got no patience. Back then. It's better now. I'm not saying I'm out here like Abraham, but it's better now <laughs> than it was when it started. And this is what I wrote. My thoughts were while waiting here, I'm going to praise God for his love, for his commandments, for his statues. I'm going to continue to pray every single day and most important, importantly, read my Bible. So I began to worship God. I began to worship God, began to get out of that dark, deep, dark hole um, that I was in, um, still mourning the loss of my brother, um, and really taking the grips of everything was going on. In this process, God taught me how to face things head on. And not, not say I don't tuck my tail, I'm not saying that like I'm scared, but when you're going through certain situations or circumstances, it seems like you get punched and get knocked down and you want to stay down because you like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, and especially when you're going through a, a death, um, it feel like a, a, a piece of you is gone that you will never get back. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that hurt me. Um, even my father said, I, you know, I don't know. You don't got to talk to me ever again. And I knew that day I was like, I'm not going to see that man <laughs> at all. You know, to the day he deceased, probably, which, you know, that's messed up. But it's all right. You know, and I had learned to handle things a little bit better in beginning. This process is being patient and resting in God. And this is what I wrote. During that season, I read the book of Psalms. While you've been waiting, God been working. I seen King David patient in his mindset and his heart for God. I copied what uh, David did during this during his process. I committed. I'm patient. I'm present, and I'm remaining confident. The whole year, I read the book of Psalms. Literally the whole year. That's all I read with the book. That's what the Holy Spirit had me to do. That's what God had me to do is read the book of Psalms. And I really studied and how David was just more patient and more of conscious of things going on around him and understanding his mistakes, understanding where he, uh, uh, um, understanding what God gave him, he lost. And I, I, I began to read that and look, it was like a mirror of, man, God done a lot. I made, uh, I made mistakes. You know, I, I messed up, but I'm holding on to, to this journey with you. And I, I like, I, I, I gave up. When I started this journey with the God, I didn't know it took all of this. I didn't understand. This is new for me because I, I, as a child and even a young adult, and even, you know, teenager too. Also, I wasn't taught. I grew up in the streets. Yes, I grew up in church, but I grew up in the streets. I don't know. I grew, I grew up in the, what the church is in this world, what the church is supposed to say, what is holy and what is right. So. Looking at David and seeing how he was actually walking each and every day and every day was a different day for him Sometimes he sings songs. Sometimes he saw hymns. Sometimes he just meditated on God And I had learned how to be this man that I am today 
It's waiting on God, being patient. It's going to get frustrated, but every day is a different day. In my prayer closet, sometimes I got to meditate. In my prayer closet, sometimes I got to sing songs. In my prayer closet, sometimes I just got to sit here and be patient in the dark. Just waiting for God. In that process, God taught me how to stay committed, how to stay present, and how to stay confident.